Uh, Vatsala, can you uh, can you just uh, find the reason? Uh, what could be the reason that uh, stopping the sharing, stopping or sharing uh, the screen screen can be helpful to you right now? How it was it advantage to you? So no, I actually I have to change the view mode. Now you want you can share the screen, sir. Uh, no worries, because uh, it adds to my knowledge, and I'm very keen in learning uh, new stuff on the daily basis. No, no, actually, when technology is all together changing in such a fast uh, uh, mode. We all are learning, and uh, sometimes we feel that we are um, we are not that privileged. Now we are turning old, so it's always good that we will be learning on a quick. Thank you, sir. And actually, everybody will be giving their interaction with the there. No, then in, if the screen is there in front of the screen, then nobody else will be visible. They will be visible only in the small part. That's why I did. Fair enough. Uh, so, Dr. Baga, I'm ready. Whenever you feel comfortable, just let me know, please. So we are waiting for the for more students to join in, and then we will start once the number crosses eighty or ninety, and then we will start with the webinar. Sure, that's better approach. Thank you. Good morning, dear students and faculty members. I welcome you all to today's webinar. So students, you can ask your friends quickly log in so that. So dear students, during the webinar, whatever questions you have, you can always uh, write your questions in the question and answer box. So we, we invite queries from you because we have with us today a very learned person who is going to address a very important topic, which is on technology. And I'm sure you are going to be having lots of questions after attending this webinar. So you can note on my email ID also, for example, if you're not able to listen something because of internet connection or otherwise also some question pop up, pop up in your mind, you can interact with me later on also in my, on my official email ID. So don't worry about that. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So Dr. <clears throat> Dr. Harvinder, I think the topic that you've selected today is going to be very, very interesting. And I think it is uh, the need of the hour also, because I think we need guidance on these things because the way we have been using, you know, we are so much dependent on technology that we cannot imagine our life without it, right? And, but at, at the same time,
harmful effects it has on our lives so i think this is a very very uh, interesting topic that you are going to cover you are absolutely right pooja and the most um, what right now i am trying to focus is because um, my topic is too wide and uh, uh, from speciality you uh, i think so by this time you might have understood this point that i am ed surgeon but uh, opening myself just has the ads health is ads as far as ent is concerned for the mobiles probably will be too short so i just uh, try to incorporate all the components of the health is ads as far as mobiles are concerned and uh, but i'm not touching the other aspects i think the students are better and far far better than me for uh, for i will speaking if i if i try to listen them probably they may spend even more than one hour for taking the advantage and disadvantage of the mobile phones and youngsters are always better than i believe that me for speaking about all these components so i will try to focus on a whole topic or summarize the whole topic towards the health hazards rather than otherwise um it disadvantages of the phone which we know there are many but uh, definitely our students can speak on that oh uh, are we ready for the lecture i think pooja now we should start okay fair enough well thank you so much uh, dr vaga and uh, the uh, team who has invited me to deliver on health hazards of the mobile phones uh, the way uh, pooja uh, ms pooja has um, started the conversation that uh, mobile phones nobody is uh, untouched without uh, using the mobile phones you um you just look at any strata any part of the society i don't think so that uh, nowadays i still remember that um, a few years back uh, there was uh, some advertisement on the um television of airtel i believe that one of a very small person was sitting um he was using the mobile uh, the like it is so cheap now that even he can afford means some attendant can afford like that so i believe that from that day i still remember the technology has advanced and as well as mobile users they have grown up to an extent that probably this is the largest market right now in the uh, which is existing um everything comes with the and if some something is having some a lot of advantages then it comes with some disadvantages also um but i will be focusing my lecture only for the health hazards and uh, i will start first from just a bit about the radiational how radiations are being emitted basically this is the radio frequency field which is generated you might have seen that there are so many towers which are um, which are there in some of the houses in the localities some of the areas which probably are the residential areas and in the newspaper also we um, we only we usually see, see a number of times of people have objections that they are producing so many harmful radiations on us so this is true also so because so many radiations we are exposed because of mobiles so these radiation not only causes the damage as far as health is concerned but otherwise also so what kind of damage these radiations can cause okay the first is um, it is not that the cancer is on the top most list but definitely so many researches uh, have uh, proved that uh, cancer is one of the component unfortunately the only thing is that mobile has come into the fashion just a decade or i'll say uh, maximum two de uh, decades before and uh, over these 20 years the fashion of the mobile has grown up and the search probably needs more years to prove some something has caused or not and cancer is one of the point which especially the brain cancer that has proven uh, fact that uh, the people who use mobile to a good extent when they were being studied but the this study was just questionnaire based a study and it was sufficient enough to document this fact that the brain tumors they are secondary or they are being caused by the excessive use of the mobiles uh here i would i would like to just share that um, the children um, uh, infants newborns their skull skull is basically the bone which supports the brain that is not developed to a good extent so pregnant ladies children infants newborns their skull being not very good enough that can resist the radiation and hazards so they are more prone for all these kind of radiations as compared to adults so chances of uh, the uh, the youngsters for getting the, these kind of uh, toxic radiations into the body their hazards into the body is comparatively high as compared to adult one 
The second one is the sleep disorders. We all know that while it's, uh, even if I talk that it is causing some, it is emitting some of the radiations and it is causing some harmful effect in the body. Even it is, even if I keep it aside, if I talk that in night, um, if I ask that, I don't think so that we all are sleeping before checking our mobiles or message or WhatsApp or something like that. Or uh, like uh, sometime I have to study uh, mean some, some uh, academic material related to my own content. So that is the best time to see when nobody's disturbing me, but that causes a lot of prolongation to uh, get into the bed. Um, you all are uh, basically the stream, which is not health related, but here I would like to tell that our body has some set pattern into our, which is called circadian pattern. What circadian pattern is that uh, if we sleep at 10 o'clock, the next day automatically the body tuned ourselves that we have to sleep at 10 o'clock, we will start yawning at the time. Or if we take a food, for example, at 10 o'clock in the morning, next day at 10 o'clock, our stomach starts getting signal, giving signals to our brain that definitely I'm hungry like that. So this pattern we used to call in our own languages circadian pattern. And this, if it is being disturbed, then definitely it leads to so many hazards. And out of one, one is sleep disorders. So sleep disorder by this time, it is not because of uh, the like something traditions. It is related to the pattern which is being disturbed because of over usage of the mobile. Sleep is very, very important. It is not only causes the whole body to regulate different ma metabolisms and uh, for rejuvenating oneself, one but it is also responsible for healing process and so many means sleep has so many advantages. If it is being deprived of, uh, definitely it, it is one of the biggest issues, especially for as far as stress is concerned, mental pressure is concerned, anxiety is concerned. So, so many health issues or I'll say psychiatric issues, they are concerned because of the overuses of mobile, especially at the night time. Well, uh, I need not to in, uh, highlight this point that accidental risk. Well, this has nothing to relate with the, some of the relations. We all know that um, uh, if somebody is using the mobile, especially when driving, when walking, when uh, you might have, I think so, um, even read in the newspaper that uh, a couple of years back, uh, one candidate, I think so, he was a student from DAV College, if I'm not wrong, because I delivered lecture, DAV College, also Polytechnic College, and the teacher told me this fact that uh, that student was our student, even that was from pharmacy side. So that student was working on that, um, these railway track and he couldn't listen to the, um, the whistle of the train and he was being dragged because of uh, so many, uh, he was totally focused into the mobile in such a way that he, uh, he couldn't listen to the train. So that was very unfortunate incidents and it is not that the, that incidents are definitely very, uh, I will say on the higher side. We always, uh, we usually see that um, on the, like on so many accidents that happen because of the mobile. People are using on uh, scooters, two wheelers, uh, four wheelers. We do consider uh, safe, but it is safe for you, but it is not unsafe. It is unsafe for the person who is just in front of you. So if your attention is being diverted because of these mobile phones, then just imagine this is very, very much avoidable uh, cause of the death. And I really feel pity or uh, really bad because this avoidable reason is one of the majority reason to cause um, uh, accident prone deaths. Nowadays, it has definitely, there's so much research on it. Um, as far as heart is concerned, our hemoglobin is uh, basically containing component, which is called, uh, our blood is containing component, which is hemoglobin. And uh, this is responsible for giving redness to our blood and all the oxygen supply means oxygen goes uh, from lungs to the other parts of the body because of good hemoglobin. This study has proved uh, that uh, if somebody is using over uh, this mobile and its radiation causes some damage to the nucleic acid, uh, I'll say, which is the building material for uh, this hemoglobin. And once it is being altered, uh, because of these radiations, it ultimately bad hemoglobin, I will say, or altered or mutated hemoglobin ultimately goes into the heart and it causes a lot of damage. So overall, uh, the take home message is that uh, it, the heart and the other complications which are related with the, uh, these mobile phones, this, this study has proven it nowadays. Um, in male, it has been found that the people, um, I think the majority of us we are keeping, especially I'm talking about the males, 
in our trousers, in our pants, and uh, which is uh, which is very near to the private parts. And the radiations which is emitted by it, it has been proven that it causes oligospermia, azoospermia. So the people who are overusing it, there are chances of being, the sperm count is being on the lower side. So chances of infertility is very, very high, especially in those people. Now coming on to the hearing, this is, uh, I'm, I'm very close to this topic because this, this is directly related to me. Uh, as far as hearing is concerned, there are two components for it. First, which I always uh, emphasize or I stress on, that uh, the people who are using the earplugs, um, earphones, um, unfortunately, even in my family, uh, means nobody wants that what the other person is listening and all the time just putting on to the headphones, uh, earphones uh, into the ears. So definitely, definitely it gives you privacy, but on the other hand, it has a lot of disadvantages. Um, the permissible guidelines, which was released by World Health Organization, that it shouldn't be more than one hour, that too few decibels means it is not the way people are using. Um, I have seen that a couple of times, the people are driving car and they, um, they definitely, uh, the music is on the very, very high intensity and they just lower down the window and the person who is standing outside, it looks that probably they want the other person should listen to what they are listening. So this kind of practice should be curtailed at all because this intensity is causing a lot of damage to the hair cells which are present in the ear. Once these hair cells are damaged, they are irreversible. They cannot be uh, they cannot be recovered. I just share my personal incidents that um, uh, a couple of years back, uh, a guy who was just 19, I think so, or maximum it could be 18 or maximum 19 years old came to me. And he said, so oh, sir, I was sleeping in the night and in the morning, I'm not able to listen through one ear. Usually it doesn't happen. I examined the ear. I couldn't find anything abnormal in the ear. Then I just ordered some of the investigations and auto which audio which is one of the investigations, which gives you idea that what kind of the loss the can the student is uh, having. Well, that student was having a uh, sensing hearing loss. That is basically the nerve damage. And I was too surprised that just in 18 to 19, no damage, that two of one side and the other was also compressed. And he was just uh, crying, sir, help me out because I'm not able to listen. And I said, then I took the history that did something happen in the night? Ask, oh yes, sir, I was listening to the some music and I, in between I slept in the morning Then I came to know, oh, I was, uh, I forgot to remove the earplugs. So means sometimes this kind of damage once you sleep, but that damage was continuing to his ear. So once hair cells are being damaged, it is it is uh, not possible to recover them. So uh, definitely these kind of uh, things we should be very cautious about it. The second thing is that uh, radiation itself, which is being emitted by the mobile phones, they are being uh, hazardous for the small part of the ear, which is called inner ear, which is very sensitive part. And it, call it, call it uh, basically carries one of the nerve, which ultimately goes to the brain and is responsible for, for hearing of us. And if it is being damaged because of these pressure effects or because of these, these radiations, then it is not going to recover at all. Now, eye problems, um, you know that uh, mobile is not having a very big screen that we can see the, the way I'm looking at my laptop. So, but uh, uh, mobile phone is having a very small consoles. We have to focus all the time. We are engrossed in reading the, uh, some stuff, which is written stuff. And we, we just get very close to it sometimes because what is written, sometimes the font size is too small. But still, overall, I will say that the eyes, especially the retina, the other part, which are very sensitive part of the eyes, they are under pressure because of these, uh, this small fact. And uh, nowadays, the mobile phone, phones have a lot of good features, especially anti-glare, anti-retinal features, something like that. But how, I uh, mean, I'm not very sure that how they means uh, these mobile companies are taking care of those components into the uh, practice so that this is not causing hazards to the uh, candidates or the, to the users and users. But still, I, if I talk that it can cause uh, damage to so many uh, layers of the eyes. If I talk about the conjunctiva outer layer, if I talk about the inner layer, if I talk about the innermost layer that is retina, but definitely it is a proven fact that the radiations uh, emitted and the light emitted and because of the small consoles, these are the few components which are responsible for causing a lot of damage to the eyes. So now you will you will just observe that no component of the body is uh, deprived of uh, disadvantage, health disadvantage of these mobile phones. 
if it like top of the skin allergies um well this is uh, customized or sometimes individualized based I means some person may have some person may not have what it means that uh, some of the persons who are having allergic to some of the component of the mobile for example nipple chromium of which whatever the stuff the mobile is made up of um chances of allergy to that component is very high although the uh, these mobile companies are looking into this component to make this uh, these things not of these um, component nickel cobalt but still it it is there it is one of the component of it um here i'm sometimes i'm surprised that people they go to toilets they use the mobile they come outside means mobile is everywhere um in starting from our bed going to our workplace so while commuting while means even if you if you are if there is very important business deal but if some, some, the mobile rings or some immediately the first reaction is that we always open the mobile and see what exactly the important message it say so overall what the message i want to say that even toilets are not means uh, the places where we are not using it so the same hands some people go here and their chances of transmitting the infection the fecal oral route infection is very high nowadays so these kind of things have to be taken care of stress i have already enlisted that how stress is built up into the mind by using all the time mobile it is not that the, 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 these are directly related to the lesions these are directly related to your sleep pattern but you are uh, all the time looking at the mobile being stressful condition oh i have to message him oh i have all the time vibrating tones like these kind of the things they are basically non radiational kind of health hazard well after talking so much i will try to take some relaxation precautions what to do well first of all we should not use the headset or the speaker if you, uh, you should use the speaker mode even means uh, hand free what we used to call so if you receive the phone until then it is very private phone uh, then try to be keeping it away from you just uh, put on the uh, mobile on the speaker mode and this this radiation at least can be avoid at least uh, that kind of uh, intensity of the sound which can be has risk of the uh, ears can be avoided the second one is that uh, consider that uh, a mobile should be used for a not very longer conversation but rather short and crispy conversations uh, try to make the message very short and important the next is that uh, we know that it is uh, important especially for the growing um the preg the way i told you pregnant lady children they all should avoid this mobiles and even in the cars if you are using it because there are bright chances that the chances of radiation hazard is very high so try to keep it at some distance or try to use the car with some antenna although i think so it is not available in india but still if possible so overall i will submit the whole topic that science is not something like which is against mobile but it is not supporting the radiations and you know that it is not only that it is a small disadvantage which is happening okay it is just irritation of the skin okay it is just irritation of the uh, eyes no starting from eye it is not untouching any part of the body i enlisted few of the components if i talk the all the components the definitely even probably the lecture will go so long so means i have just given you the just uh, uh, gist of uh, the whole lecture and a few of the health hazards so if i go in detail of it the definitely it can go up to the level of cancers so overall i believe that these all are the things like uh, his, uh, like radiational hazards non radiational hazards especially the way i told you the accidents which can be easily avoided because we are being distracted while using the phones so this is just my sincere advice if possible just um, uh just uh, pull on or i will say just keep uh, um rather than just listen to the phone if possible um just get away on the side put your car on the side uh, or if you are driving two vehicles just stop or halt for seconds or few minutes by the time you listen to your important call then go ahead so this is these are small tips and um, tricks if you will be using it i believe that you will be on the safe side Yeah, that's all I believe that I have to say. If you have any questions, then you all are most welcome. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Hovinder. Uh, so, in a very summarized way, uh, you have uh, mentioned the uh, health hazards of uh, mobile phones. So, thank you so much uh, for joining with us and uh, briefing about uh, the health hazards, and uh, uh, we can understand uh, now uh, mobile. 
uh, it is an integral part and essential for each and every one and especially now for teaching community it is uh, <laughs> it is only the medium whereby we are able to transfer and deliver a lot of activities apart from the laptop and all that uh, but now definitely for students definitely the access is users is going on for uh, mobile phones uh, but definitely i think the tips and uh, tricks whatever you have mentioned are going to be wonderful for all of us uh, thank you so much for sparing your time and definitely uh, we would like to have you in our campus uh, once the complete uh, opening up of all the institutions uh, that is possible uh, so uh, once again thank you so much and uh, shital ji thank you so much uh, for thank organizing you. and uh, reaching out to us uh, thank you so much once again and uh, i think in past we have uh, done two three webinars uh with the help of in association with punjab institute of uh, medical sciences and we are uh, optimistic in future too we are going to get lot of association uh, with uh, punjab institute of management uh, medical sciences thank you so much sir once again thank uh, you sir uh, questions here students have uh, so could you please address them first yeah. question is how can we cope up with the technology while studying as it also has some ill effects on our health So well, thank you, Manya, uh, for your question. And Manya, I really like this. Is this is all the three questions are wonderful questions. Yeah. And if somebody asked the question. I always think um, the candidate was attentive to the lecture. Otherwise, sometimes um, sometimes we are being stuck with our whole daily life, and we are not very focused. So thank you so much, Manya. First of all, well, your question is very valid. As well as technology and studies both goes together. Manya, do just look at me that. Uh, um i i won't say that how much how many hours in a day i have to focus for my academics but i can just tell you the tips and tricks which i share during the lecture they all i try to follow as much as i can and uh, uh, honestly speaking i don't see this um, um means your question is very focused as far as studying and health is concerned so my answer will be definitely you can not because <clears throat> you are a student and if possible try to use the largest screen and uh, uh, try to use the hard copies soft copies definitely very important to give you a lot of information in a very small laptop but still uh, what i used to do that i used to take the print outs of them i used to devote a lot of time while reading the hard copies but it is not practically possible for everyone but if you can do then definitely it will be more advantage well amanya there are some of the things which we can some of the things the things which you can you can only focus on that The second बच्चों ने पूछा है। Okay, I'm sorry. If you can mute, uh, uh, how can you mute, please? Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, Shivang Divedi, uh, thank you so much again, Shivang, for again very nice question that how we can overcome radiations coming from the tower. Shivang, this question has been always been into the. buzz world means all the time the people are into it especially the residential colonies the person who uh, just take or i'll say this lease it out their rental place uh, to the tower companies but the surrounding people are unnecessarily bearing the cost of those reductions but unfortunately shivang i can't give you the good take on on it because just like you me we are thinking on the same platform these are the government regulations the government parties who have to take care of this and we can just submit our message to them but listening or not listening is in their hand sorry shivan i can't help you more than that because it is beyond my territory kamal jit uh, again thank you so much how to safeguard ourselves from the mobile tower radiations again this is the more or less shivan question and kamal jit my answer to you will be again the same uh, that unfortunately we are helpless it is a technology the government has to give it to us because it is not that we are studying but it is used for every uh, segment every component of the society is uh, has to use it by default so government has to take care of um my take on to the government uh, support to the government is okay we do agree that this is a very important for our daily routine life but try to select some of the areas which probably are away from us the second thing is this is okay tower what about us because the tower is giving the radiation which is reaching through mobile to us what to do for that in that case the way i told don't keep the mobile uh, you know, just underneath your pillow when you are talking the moment you have talked just keep it on the desk or table and when you are using the mobile if it is on the screens uh, if it is on the um, messages on the very small phone uh, try to zoom it 
so that you are able to list, uh, you are able to read it uh, properly. So these are small tips and um, tiny tricks, which probably will be very much helpful. Uh, I can say there's something better than nothing. So so that will be, I think so, take home message. Any more questions, please? Uh, yes, sir, I do have one question, if I can ask. Oh yeah, Paul, you need not to ask, can I ask? You're yes. <laughs> Earlier also I unmuted uh, just to answer, uh, just to ask a question. Sir, a mobile has a lot of impact, uh, rather ill effect on our eyes also. Mm -hmm. So how we can prevent that? What should we do uh, to deal with this area? Any any tip or any uh, solution yeah, for that? Yeah, yeah. Pahul, your question is wonderful. Definitely there's no doubt that uh, eyes are under stretch. The way I told you that um, um, it's not possible that we will go for the anti glare technology or anti retinal effect or something because it, it unnecess unnecessarily adds cost to our pocket and we are not very sure whether they are advantages or not because it is just a, a advertisement of the company maybe like that that may be just because of their own uh, marketing purpose so what we can do is that whenever we have to use a mobile if we can transfer the message means for example nowadays a whatsapp can be easily accessible to the laptop also so these are the few things that we have to design in our mind that we are not going to read through this small console even if we have to read it should be very for shorter duration and the most important is that try to dim the light means don't try to read the message in very bright light unless you are into the sunlight or for example you are not able to see then i do understand we are helpless but if we are able to reduce it to a good extent i believe that some on the way i told you that um, definitely we will be able to achieve our target but nowadays the, even the government is uh, after these mobile companies means the manufacturer i will say spe uh, specifically so uh, the manufacturers have definitely uh, become very conscious nowadays thank you paul Thank you, sir, for such an elaborative answer. Thank you so much. It will really help me a lot. Thank you. I believe that I'm too much elaborative that it consumes a lot of time. It's OK, sir. Done. Don't worry, somebody is feeling shy. I'm open to emails. Anytime you can float the email, just note it down. Just hold on. The... Yeah. This is my email. This is uh, it's written on the footnotes. Dr. Harvinder, ENT. So Dr. Harvinder is my name. ENT is my speciality at gmail.com. So anytime you're most welcome. As far as personal mobile phone number is concerned, definitely I don't hesitate in sharing, but in the public, then definitely I do hesitate. I prefer the email mode most of the time, if possible. I will be just open to all. I will try to answer the questions whenever I'm sorry. Thank you. Go ahead. I hope, uh, I think all have uh, got their answers. Uh, Pooja Madam. Is there any question available pending? No, sir. I think all the questions have been addressed. I, yes, Prabhjit has written one question. Mobile radiation is dangerous. Yes, of course, Prabhjit, it is dangerous. But uh, And I think sir has already elaborated much on that, that how we can keep ourselves safe and how to, you know, we should always go for a balanced approach. Right. So excess of everything is bad, I would say, and we need to safeguard ourselves from the harmful impacts of these mobile radiations. Right. Rest, sir, all questions have been addressed. But don't worry, Prabhjit, if you have some specific concern regarding the mobile radiations, for example, on the any part of the body, you are most welcome anytime. You just note it down my email ID. I will be giving all the gist of whatever your question is there. Don't worry, Prabhjit. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I hope all questions have been answered. Pooja ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's my day. Uh, myself, Avneet Diora. Thank you, doctor. Uh, very good morning, all of you. I, on behalf of APJ Institute of Management and Engineering Technical Campus, I am really, really thankful to Dr. Ravindra Kumar, uh, Punjab Institute of Medical Sciences. Uh, and his team to make this event, you know, more interesting, uh, more uh, more interesting. And of course, uh, your uh, whatever the points you are, your thoughts have an uh, uh, tell us that how to use the mobile, right? And uh, we will definitely uh, go with your opinion, whatever you have suggested, uh, your ideas, tips and tricks that how to use a mobile. And uh, once again, uh, Dr. Harvinder, uh, thank you so much. And uh, of course, my uh, thank I'm very thankful to Mr. Sheetal uh, Kumar also. 
because we have been associating from the last yesterday and we were talking about all this event so thank you pooja madam and uh, thank you director sir and uh, thank you all the students for attending this event thank you so much thank you sir thank you thank you so much thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, I have interacted a number of times with the uh, students also because uh, offline self is mobile dependent. <laughs> online classes are mobile dependent. So definitely, whenever uh, I got a chance, I would like to meet you all offline also. But just because of the restricted guidelines, it was not possible. But Dr. Um, uh, Dr. Deora and our Dr. Baga, it's honestly speaking, it's it's wonderful to meet you all. सर बस एक चीज मिस कर रहे हैं आपकी हमने शक्ल नहीं यहाँ देखी बट डेफिनेटली सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम सर मैं आपको रूबरू मिलके जाऊंगा ठीक राइट सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू अगर सर वाईफाई होता तो डेफिनेटली इश्यूज नहीं आने थे राइट राइट सर